Aloha, we're Pepper, and we play Dean Markley. All right, all day, aloha. There's always more than just one place to find me. I haven't heard this one for a very long time. I need to think of it. It's growing up. Growing, growing up. up. Well, I guess this is growing up. Um, um, how about uh, Call Upon Up? Right. Right? Yep. How about Sarkadian Rhythms? I mean, that was pretty huge. Classics. Right? Yep. In Hawaii, these are all. Uh, the Law. Right. The law for you, especially. Yeah. I, I wasn't privy to the law until right. later in my life. Oh, 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 oh lazy, you... lazy green. Oh, lazy green. That was a good C and K. C and K. Of course, it's yeah. I, I don't know that you can just throw a, like a bunch of artists at it in the way like we're trying to remember. But yeah. There was something really special about music and getting together and like the brotherhood of a band. Like that's literally where we came from. We couldn't really play long before Dean Markley even allowed us to buy the strings, let alone support us and give us all this tour equipment to, to travel the world and play great music for people. We just had an energy about us and that kind of came out through music and whatever we were listening at the time just became a part of that. So you could name whatever happened, all those local artists. When we moved to the mainland, it just let us listen to more music, right? More exposure. Well, especially with the Polynesian Pirate who is playing stuff that we've never heard before because Hawaii radio was so dominated with Hawaiian tunes. When I say Hawaiian tunes, I mean like anything reggae, Hawaiian, and of course it's island, 40. island music. Right, island music, which I love. However, when the Polynesian Pirate came into play and then showed us bands like I don't know, Stone Temple Pirates, for instance, you know, I was just like, wait, you can do that? <laughs> right. I, was, I was blown away. I remember. I was like, what is that? Yeah. What are you? Rock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> San Diego based yeah. rock. Yeah. Yeah. Not grand. That always confuses me. I, yeah, well, you know, it's either you're going to look at it in like an environment or an era. I know where you are with this one. You're like, it's the call them like the newer version of Led Zeppelin. I was like, but they're grunge. They got the thing on Guitar World magazine, which used to shoplift occasionally. And Only the transcript. It said like, shit, the new kings of grunge or something. That inspires me. That's good for you. Shoplifting. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we really did do that. But we never, we never took the whole magazine. We only took the transcripts. I was proud of you for that. Yes. Just the songs that everyone really wanted to listen to. Right. When they would buy the magazine, yeah. you borrowed. <laughs> right. They'd get there and like, oh my god, I'm gonna learn how to Joe Satriani oh, now! <laughs> <laughs> there wasn't the internet back then. You can't just look that up on the internet. No. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Back, 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 yeah. Kids don't have the struggle. Huh? The Again, struggle was real. this is when we had to change our own strength. Come on, girl, start you. No, not beer bonging. Shotgunning. Shotgunning, yeah. Because yeah. beer bonging, I suck. So yeah. I'll, never, I'll never do that. You third party everybody. Involved. Okay, ready? Okay, ready. Wait till the, wait, time it with the zipper of the tent. <laughs> and it was the wide Velcro. Oh! oh.